Hi everyone, it's Betsy. I thought I would tell you about a planner that I made over the weekend and for the last couple days. Um, it actually went pretty quick. I, I found a binder at Target for 59 cents and I really wanted to use a binder because I thought it would be just a nice way to have a planner versus having to sew the book together. I've done that a lot and it's fine. I, I think it serves its purpose for a lot of vintage journals and um, things, but for a planner I really wanted something easy for to take pages in and out, to write on, and I thought the binder would work well. And it actually turned out better than I could have hoped for as far as what I like. Um, I wanted it to look old and when I first got the binder of course it was all white. It was just that typical cheap vinyl white binder that you can pick up for a dollar or less and the one I got was on sale for 59 cents so I couldn't have gotten a better deal on it. Uh, I brought it home and I thought, hmm, what am I going to do? Well, because it's vinyl, there are certain things you can't really put on it because it, it, it's not porous. But my wax Gilder's paste worked great. Uh, I have a bronze color and I just smeared it all over, kind of like finger painting. You know, I used to teach kindergarten and as I was doing it, I thought, oh my gosh, I am back in, in uh, kindergarten again. Um, but it, it was a lot of fun actually and um, so I just played with that and covered the entire thing inside out with that um, Gilder's wax and um, the next thing I did was I decided that I wanted it to be a, a, a planner about kindness you know I think it's so important to consciously think about being kind as you go about the day. I I really have been trying hard to remember that. I'm going to just touch something here on my screen there. Um, I have this new camera and it does autofocus, but I, I don't think it was focusing exactly where I wanted it to. But anyway, back to, um, you know, being kind. And so what I did was I, I went on my computer and I digitally collaged several different prints um, related to kindness and um, so I played with those and then I printed them out um, mostly on coffee dyed paper that I had and then I just um, made my cover usually I make that last but I knew I wanted this to be my cover so I made that, I just matted it and painted it a little bit. When I say painted it, I used mostly um, stamp inks and I just used my fingers and blended the, some of my different colors in and all around. And then I covered it up with some um, Ranger Rick's um, mixed media um, sealant so that, you know, it's, it's um, little bit protected and there is a pocket here so I could always later add something inside of there if I wanted to keep something to go with it this on the spine I added a strip of Tim Holtz's um, mm -hmm. ruler paper I love that and I just pasted it on chipboard and cut it out and glued that on and it makes it a little sturdier and on the back, I collaged this design and just added the word kindness is contagious, matted that and rounded my corners and glued that onto a paper that I had that was a design of the world. If you can see the map behind it, which I thought was kind of cool. So that's what got me started. And then inside, I just kept going. I think, you know, once things get flowing, I don't know, I just kind of get into it and I can't stop. It becomes an obsession for me. I enjoy it so much, but it does get rather addictive because I just 
you know, I really get into it. So I think there are a lot worse addictions though, and, and it's fun to play and, and, and make things. And so here's another little collage and a quote from Rumi about kindness. Um, and I made a pocket down here, used a Martha, Martha Stewart die cutter, an older one. And just use some decorative papers here and there. Here's that ruler paper again on the inside spine. And I have a three hole puncher, so I just punched the holes in all my papers. This one I got off of Etsy. There's a seller on there that makes these embossed um, papers and they're just so pretty. I love that design and I thought it just looked nice as my front page. I don't know if I'll put anything on it or not. And then I added uh, this design that I made. I just found this beautiful sunflower online and added this cute text. Be silly, be honest, be kind. Love that. No act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted by Aesop. Just added the stars and printed it out on um, coffee stain paper. So here are my planner papers. That's what they look like. Um, I just put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the front, and then to save paper, I put Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday right on the back. Then I made the little tabs, and I, I had some tabs, but they were polka dotted, and they didn't quite fit this vintage style. So I just glued on some pretty rosebud ribbon, and that covered the polka dots. And that shows me where the next month starts. So I think I have about six of those in here, six tabs. And under each one, I put a word. Um, I love words. I think words are very powerful, don't you? And understand is such a powerful one. When somebody says to me, you know, if I, I talk to them about something and it's something that, you know, who knows what it is. But if I'm pouring out my soul to someone and they say to me, I understand, it just really, it makes you feel good. And so that's, a, that's an important word to me. So here are just four of these planner sheets. And I'll just skip over those. And the next page uh, that separates that month from the next one, it's, I believe in magic, in the magic of kindness. And I noticed another collage I did, printed it out. This is just plain old paper that's been coffee dyed. And all of this paper has been coffee dyed. Another tab starting the next month and the word give, the little fussy cut butterfly there. Let's skip through these. And there's a sunflower page just on line paper for journaling or thoughts or whatever. Um, this graphic, I believe I got from Graphic Fairy. I'm sure most of you know about her. She's online. She has fabulous graphics that she's um, posted for years. And gosh, when I first saw her, I was doing a blog and she just was starting back then. And she was just giving out some free graphics on her blog. And boy, <laughs> she really did grow quite a business. So do something kind today. These words I figured out myself and the, did the text myself, but that takes so long. At least for me it does. Um, it's amazing how just something that small can take so much time to do. And it makes you realize, um, you know, the digital collaging is not quite as easy as you might think. And another tab down here, a little butterfly, and that word says inspire. I hope I can inspire you. Maybe you'll make your own planner or do your own kindness book. And just some little cards. This came from, I think this is a Stamperia paper um, that I got in one of their paper collections. And I don't know, I might put little pictures there or just write little notes. 
but very easy to do in a binder. You can use any kind of decorative paper and just punch your holes and voila. Just a little fairy printout that I made. Another sunflower paper. And a great quote from Mother Teresa, do small things with great love. This one says, smile. Doesn't a smile always help? And some more sunflower paper. Sprinkle kindness. Just added a butterfly. Encourage. Skip through these. Added a little fairy to that one. Kindness is a language with the, which the deaf can hear and the blind can see by Mark Twain. Added that to this frame that I found online. Do all the good you can. That's about it. Oh, this one. Kind words are the honey, are like honey, sweet to the soul. I added a little brass bee at the bottom and this engraving of a, of a bee and a hive. Something about bees and hives. What is it? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big insect. Well, I used to be a big insect fan. I used to love bugs when I was a little girl. I used to collect them and ah, collect lightning bugs and ah, feed the spiders, you name it. I don't know. I was a little, a little nerdy, I guess. But there's just something about a beehive and that bee and I guess all the work they do that goes into that and they produce something so sweet. And by Confucius, act with kindness, but do not expect gratitude. I think that's a hard one to do sometimes. But that's a good reminder, isn't it? And this is some more Tim Holtz decorative paper. I just made it into a pocket by folding it. And um, no, I didn't fold it. I cut it in half and glued it together just around the edges and put this little envelope inside to put some little secret things in there. Not sure. I always think little pockets and secret envelopes are fun because you... I don't know, I, I can imagine maybe a grandchild or someone down the road years and years from now finding a journal or someone's planner like this and finding these envelopes and thinking, hmm, what, I, what gold will I find inside of there? <laughs> I don't know what I'll put in there. It won't be gold, that's for sure. But on the other side, I stamped um, one of my favorite stamps. It says, the best and most beautiful things cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart, said by Helen Keller. And that just slides down and a little Velcro there holds it down. And this is a little, I think it's a little Prima flower that I had. And my last page is this pretty little fairy vintage girl that I, I put on this design that says kindness is always beautiful. And I made a chipboard heart inside the pocket and two little rustic tags with words. And this is an old bird trim that I had in my stash. I just love that. I don't know where it came from, but it's so pretty. Very vintage, which is what I love, I guess, because I'm vintage. <laughs> so that's it. And I so appreciate you watching my video, and especially if you got all the way to the end. And I hope you will make kindness contagious too. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll see you the next time. Oh, one other thing. Oops, almost forgot to tell you. This is not too important, but I I did make up some pages. Um, in my, in, I put them in my Etsy shop in case you're interested. You like my designs. You're welcome to use them in your art, in your journals, in your planners. Um, the only thing I ask is don't reproduce them 
and, and sell them digitally like I did. Um, but otherwise, I hope you can make use of them. Um, and if not, make your own or buy someone else's. Um, these just take some time and, and you know, once you learn a program like uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, or um, I use one called um, Serif, S-E-R-I-F. I don't know if there's, I guess they're still selling their program, but I bought it years ago. And um, that's the one that is the easiest for me. And so that's about it. I'll leave some links below for you, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.